Uh, the purpose of this short training video is to see how to receive merchandise in Expert Mart uh, from a purchase order. In other words, someone in the company has made a purchase order to order goods or order merchandise and that merchandise has arrived and now uh, it is your task to receive that merchandise. Um, the merchandise very well may mention on it a purchase order number that would be useful for entering the receiving that merchandise in Expert Mart but it may not so uh, we can go into to look up a purchase order all the purchase orders that are, are going to come into our store and for this option to work they must have been synchronized into our store so we can go over on the top menu bar if you notice there's documents um, and remember in documents is where everything gets filed that's where all the copies of all the documents that are generated as a result of my operations are stored so I want to go to documents vendors and there look at purchase orders so top screen documents vendors purchase orders and I'm, I'm gonna click on that this opens up the purchase order screen in this case I'm gonna click this button right here to just make it take up the whole screen and so here I have all my purchase orders uh, the way my machine is configured right now um, you do not um, show any purchase orders until you select the one you want uh, we have our normal selection options if you remember this white button here is to clear the clear the screen and inform the, the system that I want to do a lookup so I'm going to erase now you know that we could look up by date but it's very likely on a purchase order that we don't know the date might be more likely that we would know the vendor so I'm going to look up here a purchase order made by Colossal Fashions uh, or the company delivering this Colossal Fashions I'm going to just type in K-O-L, the first few letters of Colossal Fashion, in the vendor section and hit enter. And it automatically pulls up the Colossal Fashion's vendor with his address and everything. So again, remember I erased, I put in the vendor. Now I'm going to put the magnifying glass or look up by example so that it looks up the purchase orders from this vendor. And the bottom numbers here I can see... Uh, uh, in this case a sample database I have four purchase orders total um, and two of them are of colossal fashions and I'm on the first one um, one of the things that I can see here there's is you know the date also you'll be able to look at the merchandise here and know if that looks like the merchandise that you're receiving um, and they have their purchase order numbers up here um, looking at this the one another thing that we can see is um, these columns right here on a purchase order let me go ahead and explain those QTY is for quantity that would be the quantity ordered then we have RECVD and that is received uh, each the machine keeps the status of each purchase order so in the case of this purchase order I see that most all of that merchandise in fact is all of it in this that I see on the screen right now has already been received so there's zero merchandise pending so if I have some doubt of whether that of purchase order merchandise has been received or not, I can look at these columns. But since there's more than one purchase order, then I will click with the green navigation buttons up here. I will click and go to the next record. And here I find and I see this um, information here. And again here I see the quantity received zero and this is pending. And I say, aha, this is the purchase order that I would like to receive. So I take note of the number of the purchase order, which is up here, and the number of that purchase order is 3 million one. So taking note of that number of the purchase order, I can now close the document of the purchase order screen, and now I'm ready to go in and make my receipt. The receipts are made under the main menu, Transactions, and I can go into Vendors, and under Vendors, Receipts. So Transactions vendors and then I look for receipts that opens up the receipt screen now there's several different fields here but the key one that we want is this middle field right here uh, which put is abbreviated PUR period ORD number that's where I'm gonna put my purchase order number so again it was 30 million one two three zeros zero zero one thirty million one put that purchase order number in there and I click enter when I click enter, it goes out, pulls that purchase order, and with that purchase order, populates my receipt. So it says, here's the name of the vendor that that purchase order is for, and all the information that was on the purchase order. 
So in that sense, <clears throat> then I can check what was ordered against what was received. Now it might be very common for you not to be receiving the same thing that was shipped. So we can go over to the quantity column and edit. If the system is configured for that, then I could come over here and edit and say if perhaps they, we ordered this first line that's yellow right now, a, in this example, a Kalanda Red 5. I ordered one, and let's say they didn't ship any, I would put zero and go down. Now, uh, let's say that <coughs> also this item over here that we ordered four, which would be a Kalanda Silver 7, I can go down there, and I only received three of those instead of four, so I can change that three to four. Uh, four to three, I'm sorry. So I can make any changes I want in quantity here, again, if the setup of the system allows that and if company policy allows that. Um, so the key to doing good receiving is uh, the number of items received is down here. Make sure that, well, first of all, ideally, if, if the shipment, if the document with the shipment, be it a packing slip or an invoice, has the right amount, in other words, it coincides, it says there's, in this case, say it's 27 pieces in the box, and there are uh, 27 pieces in the box, then I'm going to type 27 here, and I want to check that this coincides with the invoice or packing slip that the vendor sent me. I also, if I have dollar amounts on there, which you may not, but if you do, then you would want to check that this uh, price right here, cost right here, and you may be seeing price instead of cost, so that may not coincide if the invoice is in cost and you're seeing price. But if you're seeing cost and the invoice price has cost on it, then this amount should also coincide. That would be a quality control measure. Definitely the quantity should coincide unless there's some difference between what their document that they shipped with said and what was actually in the box. Um, if there was some difference, then in this area down here, and I don't know if you can see the cursor very bottom left where it says notes, you would go in there and type in um, the observations that way we'd know that you were paying attention and the, just simply the pieces went out there. To finish this up, we need to type in whatever serial number the packing slip had on it or whatever, um, or the invoice had on it. So let's just say in here it's ABC1234. And then we want, we want to, uh, to uh, put the date that that receipt had on it. So let's say it's today's date. I click on the Today button. Once we're done with that, then all we have to do is click F12 to print, and we'll be done with that receipt. So I print there, and in this case, uh, there, it gave me a message about the printer, but if your printer is set up right, it would uh, print and, and print out the receipt, and that would be all you would have to do to receive. receive. Um, real quick, I want to just go in now, if I go back into Documents, Vendors, and Receipts, and look up that same purchase order. In this case, if I know the number, I can also type in the number here. Uh, well, no, I didn't want to go into receipts, I'm sorry. I want to go into documents, vendors, purchase orders, and I want to erase, type in the purchase order number. Um, and in this case, I'm gonna instead look up again by the vendor, which is colossal fashion. Look up my same purchase order. It was the second one, so I go to the second one. But just to show you a couple things here, if you wonder about what's going on, here the numbers have been updated in the received column from this last receipt. Here's the quantity to be ordered, here's what I received, and here's the pending pieces. Um, I can click on one line there and any line, just as a sample, it turns yellow because I've clicked on it. I'm going to go up, the next to last button is my uh, inventory audit log or the Cardex. I click on that and then I can see where the West Store and West, March 10th, 10, 12 a.m. with receipt 3000, I received one of these items. Well, actually, there's two different ones on the invoice. I guess that was my mistake. We can see that there's two lines here. Uh, and so I received two different items uh, on here, two and one. And it shows what was in inventory initially, how much I received, and how much was left. So any doubts about what happened with the receipt can be clarified there. I hope this video is useful for you.